What's going on guys? We have another battle box. As you see peeking in the corner, we have pumpkins, so that means it is October. Uh, in this case, October 2020. So I'm about to jump into this box, but I'm a little torn as to which knife to use. I have this little bad boy, <laughs> which I got in a trade. This is like a little eBay find that someone threw in, a little D2 blade. You know, kind of kind of cool. I was actually planning on uh, using this to open the box, but today's uh, EDC happens to be the mini Sheepdog. All right, this is the exclusive from uh, Going Gear with the um, OD Green micarta handles. I really, really like this smaller uh, package overall. So, what do you think? I'm gonna have you guys pick virtually. Um, you have a 50-50% chance of getting this right. So A, open it with the Sheepdog. B, open it with that little funky thing. What do you think? I'm gonna go with the Sheepdog, just because. I've been playing around with this a lot. I'm kind of familiar with it, uh, but we're gonna use that. So if you picked that, congratulations. If you didn't, sorry. Sorry to hear it. I'm not doing much cutting here anyway. I have three little thin, oh, that one's not even, that one's already broken. <laughs> so I really could have probably ripped that open with my fingers. But we love using our knives, so that's that. Put this off to the side, get this box open, and get the show started here. Okay. What do we have? This, ooh, big old carabiner. That's what we have. Battle box, mission brief number 68. Oh, I don't want any sneak, you know, sneak peeks. Mission 68. Let's, let's read this. What's up, Battle Boxers? It's October 2020 and time for Mission 68 of the World's Best Survival and Adventure subscription box. Uh, fall is now upon us and cooler weather is in the future. This month is full of awesome gear to add to your preps. Everything from starting and stopping fires. Ooh, stopping fires. That's interesting. Uh, to filling your tank and uh, dressing your kills. We've got you covered. Be sure to pay attention to the uh, Survival 13 key next to the product descriptions, and let's jump into this rascal. Yeehaw! From Curran 1776. So, I'm going to keep this handy off to the side so I can reference it if I don't know what I'm looking at. And we're going to start here. We're going to start with these carabiners. These are cool. I like this. So, Southern Survival. Oh, so it's actually branded Southern Survival. Pretty cool. Two-pack screw gate locking carabiners. Okay, so these are good up to 5,500 pounds. That's pretty uh, pretty hardcore. So I don't know. I don't have a specific need for a weight-bearing carabiner, but that is that is quite different. Now, of course, if you're into EDC stuff, at some point you have a carabiner for something. Maybe in the beginning you use it to. You know, have your, your keys on your uh, belt loop on your jeans or something. Um, who knows? But we've all we've all been there. We've all had carabiners. Maybe you still do that, which is a very simple, easy way to carry your keys outside your pants. Um, but if you've never had a weight bearing one, I mean, these things that's pretty uh, pretty hardcore stuff. So obviously this has threads. It moves up and locks, so this will not open. So it's actually really secure. Pretty cool. Like I said, I don't have a specific need for these as part of my EDC, and I'm certainly not this dude hanging off the edge of a cliff, and probably never will be. Um, but the practical purposes, I can use this for all kinds of stuff. Maybe, maybe even if I'm doing a little project, help my dad out, doing something with the quad, need to attach something real quick, some rope or chain. Who knows? This might be a, a quick, good little accessory to have. So these will probably reside in my father's garage uh, to be used for stuff like that. But very useful. Let's put those off to the side. Where do we go now? Let's let's look at let's look at this thing. There is actually a metal <laughs> gasoline container in here. This is really cool. All right, let me get set of plastic. This is awesome. This is just really really cool. So there's a jerry can here. Okay, mil spec jerry can. All right, the side has the. Instructions. All right, let me zoom in a little bit here. So it shows how to open the top. All right, and how to close it. So we have a mil spec gasoline container. That is super, super cool. All right, let me move this box out of the way just a little. All right, so there's a little pull pin in here. I'm not going to screw with this right now, but nice carry handle on here. And 
it is all metal. So that is actually fully functional. Very cool thing to have strapped down the bed of your truck um, with or without gas. Doesn't really matter. I actually heard someone recently, they were talking about having, they were talking about the trucks with the gas tanks that are in the bed. And they're saying, wow, that's so dangerous. What if they get into an accident? I don't know. What if any car gets into an accident? We all have gas tanks, don't we? So <laughs> I know I wouldn't be worried about that. But anyway, that is that is really cool. I absolutely love that. This is definitely like a prepper's... Um, you definitely would be smiling if you're a prepper. If you're just an average dude, you might be like, eh, I don't know if I'm going to use that. Even if you use this just to store extra gas to throw in your lawnmower or something. It's just really cool. Nothing wrong with having something that's very functional but also cool. So, and by the way, I don't know if you saw the back there, but it says don't fill above the 5 liter mark. So this is 5 liters. It is clearly marked. Okay, so that's how much gas it holds. Um, and realistically, you can put water in there if you want, but I wouldn't because it's, I think it's marked gas, isn't it? Uh, no, it's not really marked. If you took all the stuff off and the stickers, I suppose you could put whatever liquid you want in there. So that's cool. Moving on, where do I go from there? Well, I have to go here because I'm seeing that this is a separate pour spout for the top. I don't know if this, well, this is what we're going to reference. I don't know if that comes with it or if that's something that's supposed to be separate. And it looks like it's part of the advanced box, by the way. No, it goes with it. So that, that makes sense. So you have the actual pour spout, which is very cool. And the additional rubber thing, too, so you can angle it. I love it. That, that is a really, really cool item. All right, so no more sneak peeks. Where do we go from there? Let's go to this. Hot Snot. And this thing got crushed, the box anyway. Hot Snot Fire Lube in a Tube. Fire lube in a tube, easy to use, flash, flash, fast, clean, fire. You know, knowing how to read really helps, <laughs> helps, these, helps these videos. Okay, so instant fire starting without kindling. Ideal for emergency fire kits, survival kits. I mean, obviously anything you want, you know, fire. Safe and easy to use, squeezable, no flare back, burns on water or ice, starts damp wood, odorless, clean burning. So we just basically have a fire starting gel in a tube and I don't think I have to explain how useful that can be so we will certainly try this in the future <laughs> caution flammable I would hope so it's gonna be exposed or is this sealed it is sealed all right so obviously we turn this around and puncture it I was gonna smell it but I'm not going to right now we're gonna do a separate video on that in the future see how well it works and uh, winter is around the corner so I will definitely be trying this on ice uh, because that's what they're advertising it. <laughs> but I think there's a really cool gimmick there. Hot snot. I love it. That is definitely going to be useful in the future. Let's put that off to the side. And we're going to go right here. Because I'm curious what this is. Blaze Defense Fire Suppression Device. Now I've done videos on this before. Um, they had a small can. I believe it was this brand. I don't know. Offhand you'd have to reference an old video. But they had a, a very small can. Much smaller than this. And it did not do anything to put out the fire. And I was putting it, uh, shooting it directly onto um, the embers of the fire. That being said, I have larger blaze defense in my house, okay, in case I had a house fire. Um, I have used the larger ones. They work very, very well. I just think you need enough of it to really maintain, uh, you know, a fire. It all depends on how big the fire is, too. If your whole house is already aflame, obviously you're not going to break this thing out and save the day. So you have to be realistic, I guess, with the size of the container and what kind of fire you're trying to put out. But these are extremely useful. Something small like this is fantastic for your car. I would actually go with a bigger one. I keep a larger fire extinguisher in my car um, in the trunk because you never know. If you've ever seen videos on car fires, they happen quick. Um, so yeah, the faster you can react, the better. Most people don't have any kind of fire extinguisher in their vehicle. You know, maybe you don't feel like your car's ever going to catch fire, but you don't really know. Maybe you're in a car accident or something, and it's minor, but now all of a sudden there's a little fire going. Obviously, you want to get away, but it's up to you as the owner whether you want to risk your life uh, putting the fire out before it costs you more money, or if you want to just jump out and watch it burn to the ground because you have good insurance. But either way, these things are uh, absolutely awesome. All right, obviously, there's a safety thing here you can pull off before you can actuate that lever. But yeah, these are super useful. All right, there we go. Now we're in focus. So this is the uh, very popular uh, vehicle um, from BattleBox, the whole crew and everything. If, you, you know, if you're into their stuff, you'll recognize it. But that's really cool. It's a really cool patch. I think it's an awesome vehicle to begin with. But uh, that's a cool little addition to a patch collection. 
Put that off to the side. Well, I don't want to get that yet, or this, because those look like it goes with this, maybe, maybe not. I don't really know. Well, let's, let's jump back to this thing. So, an eagle claw. The handle, maybe. No, screwdriver. That's a kind of cool, cool screwdriver. <laughs> I just like it because it's pretty, it's pretty beefy and it has knurling on it, so you can really get in onto some screws. But I don't see storage for bits. So let's put that back for a second. That's a little random. So we have a random screwdriver in here. Instructions, which I'll probably need. Whatever that is. Anything else in there? This looks like another pack in the blade. Okay, so these these look like blades. And this looks like it goes to it as well. Is this spare blades for this? Same thing? I think it is. Okay, so I'm a little confused. Some kind of knife, obviously. Oh, we have a saw blade too. All right, well, let me get this card because this is actually showing whatever this is. Rapto Razor. So, what is going on here? This is definitely something new to me. Is this also a handle? All right, I'm gonna have to look at this instruction. And something fell out. We got some stickers. I always love uh, decals and stuff. One decal and coupon. Save 35% using promo code BATTLEBOX. Big Game Skinner from RaptoRazor.com. So if you're interested, there's a little discount if you wanted to buy direct. But what is it? What is a Rapto Razor? <laughs> Obviously, it's some kind of cutting instrument. But it is one that requires instructions, at least for me, for now. So, take out housing and handle from carrying case. All right, let's do this step by step. Let's work on this together. So, that is our housing and handle. Unscrew handle to reveal the Phillips head screwdriver bit. Do not place the cap on the ground. Always keep it clean, dirt and or other debris, uh, sand. Just keep it clean <laughs> so you don't damage the threads. Uh, so, remove, the, remove two Phillips head screws from the housing and separate housing B. Let's look at the picture here now. So it looks like you're going to, it's not just a screwdriver, you need the screwdriver to undo these screws and add a blade inside. And this looks like a blade guard. And then once the blade's on there, this becomes your handle. So let's see, put this through here. This is definitely interesting, for sure. It's pretty secure, and then you're holding it like that, okay? And that's your cutting instrument. That's a really interesting thing. Now, obviously, let me zoom in a little so you can see what it looks like with those blades. So you can use it as a skinner. Oh, this is just fascinating, very fascinating. So obviously they're going to sell different types of blades and stuff, and as you saw, it also comes with a saw or yeah, a saw blade. So I'm not understanding though how to get this part. Hmm. All right, I am going to have to investigate a little more, and I'll be back. Uh, it didn't take a whole lot to figure that out, but I definitely needed to shut the camera off for a second and focus a little more. So first off, this one is the Mano, okay? Um, this other thing, that's what was confusing me, is this other thing, I obviously have sold separate, okay? This whole big L-shaped one that has the big, you know, gut hook and exposed blade in the back and stuff. This is just what's pictured on the right. So this is actually really interesting. I don't know what scenario I'd want this style knife, but again, when this is all assembled, um, you have like a grab handle. It's a very significant grab handle. Obviously a nice big guard on here, all right? So when you're not using a knife, you won't be uh, cutting yourself. 
All right, I guess maybe the guard sits like this because these two little circles go where those screws are, but I prefer it all like pushed in. Anyway, so here it is exposed. Nice sharp blade. Um, and there you go, there's your knife. I mean, it was very simple to take this apart, obviously with the Phillips head screw. There's two screws here, but when you open it up, there's two little pins and there's two holes that correspond with the blade. So it, it kind of snaps in place, put it back together, put this thing back on, and you're ready to roll with a very unique knife. Now this came with three blades, which is cool too, so you don't have to worry about sharpening, although obviously you can sharpen them. But it's nice to have, you know, super sharp razor blades ready to go. Um, and then they also threw in, uh, I don't know if this is one, it's just one big saw blade. Okay, so you can also use this to maybe saw some tree branches and also one five inch blade. So I'm assuming this this also covers that five inch. Am I right? I didn't test this. Whoop, I had it right the first time. And it looks like it will. Okay, so that's why this is a little bit bigger. Because right now it's covering the smaller one, but it's capable of covering the much larger one. Alright, so pretty interesting stuff. Now, let me put this back on actually for a second because I didn't try it out, but I saw that there is actually um, a butt cap that comes off. And in here is a hollow space. It's supposed to be. Well, that's funny. That's totally not what I expected. So this comes with two spare screws, which is very helpful in case you do happen to lose these. Now you could see this is an orange camo for hunters. So if you're out in, in the woods and stuff and you are taking this blade or changing a blade out, because everything goes right in this pack, which is really cool. I really do like that. So this can be on the waistband or a bag or something. Um, but anyway, if you lose a screw, you're screwed, right? But no, you actually have spares in the handle, but that's not, I, not what I thought was gonna be in there. And let me tell you why, <laughs> because I just saw a picture of this and this is probably just sold separate. That's probably what's getting me confused, is the instructions show everything that they offer, and not just what's in the package. But, I look at this picture here, alright, and it shows um, a compass in the end, as well as a bit kit. So that's, that's why I was just a little confused there when I opened that. But honestly, <laughs> instead of the bit kit and the compass, I kind of prefer a spare set of screws. Because, like I said, if you lost those screws, that'd be a real pain to go find matching ones. All right, so now we finally discovered what's going on and what's not going on with that. So that is uh, pretty interesting. Never seen anything like that. Uh, you know me, I like things that are, you know, new and, and unique and different. That's pretty cool. Uh, I don't currently hunt, so... I'd love for all the people who get battle boxes that actually hunt, if you've gone and used this to maybe dress an animal or something, please come back and let everyone know what you thought of it. Because um, it's a cool package, but you know I can't put it to use at the moment. And this one, I don't know if this is gonna fit in here. The five inch? Yeah, that'll fit in there. Let me fold this over. But I don't think the saw blade is going to fit in this package, unfortunately. That's too long. Yeah, it's way too long. But that's a that's a neat little package here, and you got a big old flat spot here you can fish your belt through, or whatever. Pretty interesting. I like that. I don't know how I'm going to use it, but I like it. Okay. So, put that off to the side. Actually, is there any more information on here? No, oh, same 35% off for Battle Box in case you want to buy it direct. And actually, you know what? I want to reference. I want to see what they charge for that. All right, it looks like retail is a hundred dollars. Ooh, I don't know about that. <laughs> um, I don't know what they're actually selling for. It's cool, but like I really like to see that at like maybe thirty or forty dollars. But hey, I don't make the rules. That's just what it is. So, next thing, a BattleTac gear pouch. This looks like and maybe an AR mag holder, but they're calling it a gear pouch, so you can do whatever you want with it bag so you can see how they have it but yeah I mean you can put whatever you want in here maybe your cell phone if it fits but obviously it's a cool little mag pouch all right with some straps on the outside um, so yeah I mean that's how I'm gonna use it but of course if you're not into guns you can 
of course use that any way that you feel fit. And finally, we have a knife. Now, I'm looking at this knife and I'm a little confused. I wonder if you guys know why I'm a little confused. First of all, this is Revolt Knives. It says designed by David Kurt. Let's take a look at this first. And then, oh, oh, this is just the wrapper. I thought I forgot a blade. Um, actually, let's use that other little knife to open this. So you both win. Doesn't matter who picked what. I'm using them both. <laughs> that was very necessary. Uh, yeah, let's, let's look at this first. Then I'm going to explain why I'm a little confused. I can take this out too. So first, we have a little paperwork here. Revolt knives. Or not Revolt. Yeah, I guess Revolt Knives is the brand. Is Revolt? Oh no, the Remove. Am I saying that right? Remove. Oh, Remove. Hello. <laughs> two and two is four. So this is called the Remove, spelt weird, by Revolt Knives. Okay, removable gut hook for skinning, field dressing, um, caping, or cleaning of large and small game. So it shows you how to remove this. But I don't really need to look at that because I'm familiar with this knife even though I've never had it. And that's where I'm a little confused. Let's pop this off, take a look at it. Looks pretty cool, feels comfortable. Um, and then on the back here, I'm assuming, oh, what do you know? That pops right out. So we have our separate gut hook, which is comfortable to use. Now, how did I know that? I've never had this knife. How do I know how this works? I know some of you guys who watch my videos for a long time are gonna know exactly where I'm going with this. But the reason I know how that works is because I had a knife that was extremely similar to this. And it was by Klecker Knives. It was almost identical. Now, I don't remember the handle style, but I remember specifically like a, a black and red, even with the green, if I'm not mistaken. And it had the same removable tool. So what's the deal with that? Who came up with this the first time? Maybe they sold the idea. Maybe that's what it is. All right, I knew it. So looking at my uh, cell phone here real quick, I did a review back in March 9th, 2016 of a Klecker Knives Abiqua Hunter. Hold on guys. Well, I have another knife review for you today. Today we're looking at this Abiqua Hunter, and this is a fixed blade by uh, Klecker Knives. It's a collaboration with David uh, Kurt. You can see his uh, name on the back here. David Kurt is a knife maker and an avid hunter. So going back to the box on the top, it says designed by David Kurt, right? So I knew something was there. I just didn't know who came up with it first, but obviously it was licensed out to both companies, both Klecker and Revolt Knives. So that is why I am familiar with this knife. I thought there was a little tomfoolery going on there, a little copycat, copycat stuff, um, but obviously it's all good. Super, super comfortable though. I mean, you know, if you wanna check it out, check out the other video I did. Uh, I talk all about it. But yeah, it's, it's a super, super cool design if you've never seen it before, just having that little hidden uh, gut hook in there. Obviously it's very functional, you know, as a gut hook or a strap cutter for that matter, if you need to cut a seatbelt off or something real quick. Um, it's really cool, but I mean, there's such a gimmick there and a novelty when people see this, like, oh man, I have to have that. Even if they don't really have a use for a gut hook, it's just kind of a really cool addition. So yeah, very, very cool knife though. Um, and a little blast in the past. You know, it was about four years ago when I uh, talked about that knife. So, I mean, this is an awesome month. A lot of stuff uh, having to do with uh, fire. Obviously this funky knife is totally hit and miss for people. I think it's cool because I like weird stuff, but I don't know, maybe in the uh, hunting realm of things, it could be very useful, but you know, I don't know what, it's very secure grip, but it's not like you're gonna whip that out for self-defense or something. And it's certainly not gonna be like your EDC choice. So it might be more specific to outdoor stuff and hunting. Um, if you happen to get one of these in a battle box and you have a use for it, please come back to this video right in the comment section, how it may benefit um, yourself using that over say any other knife, you know, including this one. But uh, anyway, there's that. Obviously the mag pouch is really cool if you're, if you're a gun guy or a gun gal. Uh, but even if you're not, it is a pretty versatile pouch. You can put all kinds of stuff in there. Um, in fact, if you wanted to, you can carry around your fire extinguisher or you could put this in this pouch and have that on a bag in your car or something. So, you know, you gotta think outside the box sometimes. 
uh, even though this is still quite literally in the box. <laughs> uh, fire starting stuff is always cool. Having like a fire gel, awesome. Very simple. Um, obviously, you get your somewhat small size kindling. I wouldn't just put this on a log, light it, and you know think you're gonna have a campfire going. Uh, you still have to do the small stuff, but it should make your life a little easier. And I am curious to see if this is gonna take a, uh, a spark to the light. Instead of open flame, I'll, I'll try ferro rod first and things like that. So stay tuned, I will definitely do a video of this, uh, especially now that cold weather's coming. Uh, decal, patch, those are all cool, but not super important. Um, the carabiners, I have off to the other side here. Those are really useful for some people. For me, a little bit more of a novelty, but still pretty cool. And then obviously this really awesome big jerry can. I mean, that is just, that is really awesome. So I'm definitely, once I shut the camera off, I'm gonna get myself familiarized with this. And, and uh, that's a really cool addition to my preps. So that is it for now. Hopefully you guys have a wonderful day. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow with a brand new video. Take care.